All right, guys, go to it. Falcons and buzzards. The Tilati are going to war. <laughs> this is one of those really important and fun milestones in this game when you finally can manufacture your own ships. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy, Gaming, and uh, yeah, I know it's been a while since I put out a video for X4. Uh, the primary reason for that has been uh, that I've just been playing a lot of Seven Days to Die Alpha 21 um, on the channel because it's that's my flagship game of this channel, and um, so that's that's been the main reason. There's also been some things going on in real life, um, not, nothing bad, but just busyness and that sort of thing. And if you watched my last update episode, um, I mentioned in that episode that, you know, I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry up and wait mode, you know, waiting for my shipyard to be built and stuff like that. And so I have, um, you know, kept the game running for m several more hours since that last update video, uh, just letting it run, not really on SETA, but just letting it run. Um, it's, it's actually very hard to run SETA in this game uh, and AFK. Um, just because, you know, stuff happens, my ships get attack, attacked, and I have to help them deal with it and things like that. Uh, plus the fact that if you don't have your announcements completely or your notifications completely disabled, that will throw you out of set of two, which is as annoying as all get out. Um, and I really need those notifications, so I don't want to turn them off. And so, anyway, all that all that to say, the those are the reasons. Um, nevertheless, uh, we are back in the game, and I'm going to try moving forward to to put out at least one episode a week, um, you know, starting here in, in July. Uh, all right. So let's see, lots of stuff to take a look at here. Uh, our primary focus right now is the shipyard. So let's just go into the, the build menu. And right now what we're working on are habitation modules. I have constructed all of the tier one and tier two modules and all the Terran modules as you can see down below. Uh, we have several solar panels and three e pier docks on the front. I have some um I have one uh, 8M dock and a couple of smaller ones for small vessels down here plus the actual fabrication bay. Um and I know you know that the fabrication bay itself also functions as a dock but the thing is is once this thing starts cranking out ships I don't want the the ships that are being built to block every you know normal ships from docking you know to bring us supplies and that sort of thing so that's why i put that on there um all right so that's kind of where we're at with the shipyard if we take a look at the logical overview at the moment i've got just about every mining ship that i own working on trying to bring raw resources to this place um and i've even pulled them off of the headquarters and the build uh, depot you know just to kind of to get a jump start here but i am definitely going to have to purchase more miners and have dedicated miners but the good news is that over time um you know we have accumulated uh, a large quantity and, and in many cases like completely full of the components that we need to build ships um so you know all of this stuff is here too it's, it's not as full as some of this stuff and then we have a little bit of computronic substrate and metallic micro lattice and silicon carbide there too and the main reason i have those at the moment is just for terran shields um okay so what we're gonna do here sorry i got a piece of hair or something in my mouth <laughs> um what we're gonna do here i gotta trim my mustache is we are gonna finish our own fleet first um so if we take a look at our carrier which is where is the carrier the raptor okay so the raptor currently has 35 interceptors assigned to it and eight, uh, six bombers and so what i want to do is i want to i want to fill this out with uh the rest of these ships now all of the ships are she's but the normal fighter ships the interceptors are configured as fighters and these are configured as bombers and we'll take a look at what that configuration looks like um so we can have 
in the Raptor, I believe we can have, um, is it 80 small vessels in total? I don't remember. Let's take, it should tell us that somewhere. Yeah, ship overview. Uh, so we can have a total of, oh no, we can have a total of 100 small vessels on this, uh, on this ship. Right, okay, so, wow, that's a lot. Uh, and um, 30 medium vessels too, for that matter. Uh, we're not going to use medium vessels for now. We might later. Right now, I just want to focus on getting the small vessel fleet um, built up. Okay, so that means that I think I think we'll go with 40 interceptors and then 60 bombers. So that means we need five more interceptors. All right, so let's go to our shipyard here. Zoom back out. And we want to go to build ships. We want to select the size and the she heavy fighter. And we want to select the Reaver standard fighter loadout. Okay, so that means we have our split combat Mark IV engine. We have our combat Mark III thruster. We have our Terran shields across the board. We have bolt repeaters as the primary weapons for because the, these are interceptors. Uh, all, all of the Mac software, because this is this is basically free, so we might as well just put it on there. Uh, consumables are 10 laser towers and a full complement of, uh, of flares. The crew is... See, that, that's the thing is, I, that's why I'm still trying to build up the, um, the, habit, the habitats so that we can get, excuse me, more crew on here. But I don't think this will prevent us from building the actual ship itself. And we might even be able to send this. I wonder if we could send this over. We probably can't send it over to our build depot because we've got like so many people working over there. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I mean, for these ships, it's not absolutely crucial that we have a crew on because they're just fighters. So, and I think the game will just give us a, a pilot automatically. So let's go ahead and add this to the shopping list and we want five of them and we'll confirm the order okay um, so it'll start building those five fighters for us and then if we look at the shipyard uh, ships in construction it shows that those ships are currently being built so once the fighters are finished then then we're gonna make as many bombers as we have materials to make now I haven't I haven't really set this up yet for uh, trading with the AI. I mean, they could, but the, the thing is, is that I need blueprints. The only blueprints I currently have are the she and the Nodan. Um, so if the AI wanted to, to buy a she or a Nodan, they could come and, and actually buy it from me right now. But I need, I need to get all of the other blueprints. Well, maybe not all of them, but, um, you know, more blueprints before I can start building ships for the AI itself. But one of the things that I can do, though, is that I can I can build she's and or nodans uh, and just make them as, you know, just as cheap as possible. And then I can sell those ships um, and, and make a bunch of money doing it that way, too, which is um, a really good tip that I got from Captain Collins. Um, so we'll probably do that. Uh, as far as our money goes, you know, we, we have about 102 million in the, the wallet. Um, so, you know, that's climbing, but I still have a lot of things that I need to purchase, uh, such as more large miners to support uh, everything that we have going on. Um, so even though I have 102 million, I don't actually have a lot of money because we also need to go buy some more blueprints, too. And we'll probably take a look at that later on. So once we get our our fighters um, built and assigned to what the hell's going on over here? Oh, the SCA put a laser tower down. How funny. Um, once we get that set up, then we're going to take our, our fleet. And in the midst of, uh, of all of this stuff, you know, all of the AFK in and running the game, the Xenon have managed to build and completely build, mind you, a wharf here in Tharkas Cascade 15, which is also where we have, you know, one of our, our defense platforms. 
And I don't, I don't want that because what that means now is that the Xenon can send ships uh, through either one of these gates. Now, the good news, though, is that we do have a defense platform on the other side of both of those gates, too. But I'd rather, you know, stop them here rather than let them build ships and then start coming through there. Um, plus, it gives us something to blow up, too, which is really the most important thing. <laughs> um, so... So that's kind of going to be our, our first target. Um, and, 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 you know, I haven't even taken the carrier out into battle yet. I, I haven't because I've been so just waiting, you know, for all, the, all of this to be built. So the carrier's just kind of been on patrol in the system waiting, you know, for us to take it out. Uh, so we'll get it. And, of course, we'll get all of our destroyers and everything, too, and, uh, and go after those dudes. Okay, so it definitely seems to take longer for me to build my own ships than it does for the AI because um, that's interesting. Uh, so so while those are being built, why don't we do this? Oh, let's take a, a quick look at our Terran um, building supply station, too. So we're going to go to uh, plan build, and let's just see how this is coming along. So it's coming along actually really well. We have all of the Computronic substrate modules built and all of the micro lattice, and so now it's working on the silicon carbide modules. Um it's got we got quite a bit of storage the solar panels and then of course it'll have it'll start working on the habitation modules afterwards so this is doing well let's see um i think we should have everything we need money wise yeah uh everything is is supplied right here uh, to build that stuff and uh, once, you know, once this is built and, and, and underway, I'm expecting that it'll, it should bring us in some pretty decent money. Uh, at least that's the plan anyways. We'll see how that works. Assigned to this station, we do have, um, uh, I think I have four ships, two gas and two ores. Let's look in this view. Terran building station. Yeah. So we have two gas miners and two uh, normal miners. Now, why are these guys... Okay, so he's completely full. And he can't complete the trade. Does that mean I ran out of gas storage? Let's take a look at here again. Hmm. Well, we ran out of methane storage. That's probably what they both have. Let's look at that again. Yeah, so they're full of methane, and he's full of methane. So I think what we'll have to do for now is see if we can sell this elsewhere. So let's turn on the trading filter and select methane. Uh, let's get all rid of all of this stuff here. Okay, now we'll select methane. Okay. And who will pay a lot of money for methane? Uh, well, we want to keep it in, in Terran space. I don't want to drive or fly halfway across the universe for that. So somebody over here... Okay, so this wharf here will pay a bunch for a uh, top price, in fact, for methane. So let's have you guys go uh, trade with Segaris Station and wait a second. Oh, uh, oh no, it's the it's the silicon carbide mill. Okay, there we go. Okay, so just go ahead and sell all the methane to them, and then hopefully the station manager, who is my top manager, or um, Hurilis, Hurilis, will send them uh, uh, for something else that, that we're not full on. That's the theory, anyways. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, our trading station's doing well. Uh, before I started the video here not too long ago, I pulled about... 15 million out of them. I've, I've been keeping them at, a, at around 10 million uh, for now. This trading station is just dead dead in the water. Um, 
Uh, it's the one that's up in Tilati space. I think it's just, I haven't really paid close attention to it recently, but I think it's just the location that it's in. You know, there's too much competition or whatever. But I just, I, I'm not, I don't have time to mess with it right now. So it is what it is. Um, it, it makes me a tiny bit of money, but nothing like, you know, our trading station down in Reverse Fortune does. And then all of our defense platforms uh, are in reasonably good shape. I need to, to check and make sure they have all their modules, but I'm going to, um, yeah, you know, like all their charts and stuff, but I'll do that later. And then Reverse Matrix, uh, defense platform, and also Hull Factory um, is also making us money. It's not making us a ton of money, but it's it's definitely, you know, making more money than losing, just in smaller amounts. So that's pretty much it. Oh, Reaver Industries. Um, yeah, that's Reaver Industries is mostly supplying our trading stations. So it doesn't really make us, uh, directly anyways, make us money, but it, it does keep the trading station supplied. All right, very cool. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to... We need to buy some more blueprints if we want the AI to start buying from us. And since we are in Talati and Paranid, and to a lesser degree, um, Argon territory, probably would make sense for us to start looking at Paranid blueprints and Talati blueprints. Uh, and maybe even Paranid to start with. So why don't we... Uh, where is the representative? The representative is here. So let's go ahead and teleport to them. We have very high rep now with, with the parented. Entering system. Trinity Sanctum. We'll go to the representative is, uh, representative's office. I need to turn my headphones down just a little bit. It's kind of loud. And... We'll probably focus mostly on small ships to start with, just because, again, we, we don't have a ton of money to spend at the moment. So let's take a look at ships, and let's take a look at small ships. So we could buy the blueprints for all of their small ships. Um, so, again, these are not ships that I'm going to buy, but they're for the AI to come and buy from us. So let's just spend all that money. That's only 6.4 million, which we can certainly afford. Um, okay. Maybe we could look at a couple of these then too. Uh, the Nemesis would be as almost as much money as all of those small ships put together. <sighs> um, the Gorgon, that's like, that's a frigate, right? I think that's a frigate. Um, all right, let's do it. Let's buy the Nemesis, and we'll buy all of these hauling and gas ships as well. That brings us up to 18 million. We can't do large ships yet, because I don't have the large shipyard, which is also ungodly expensive. So we'll have to do that later. Okay, so that means we spend eight about 18.8 .8 million with the Paranid. And that gives us all of the small and medium ships except for the, the Gorgon, which I think we're going to hold off on. Okay, let's confirm Sick that. Journey. Very good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to teleport to Talati Space and do much the same thing. Uh, we have 86.8 million. Um, so let's see. We want to go to 18 billion. Wait a second. Where is... I thought the representative for... For, um... Oh, what the hell's the other Talati... The sub-faction called? I can't think of it at the moment. Well, it doesn't matter, I think. Well, let's just go here. Ministry of Finance. That's who I was thinking of. Oh, you know what, though? We don't have enough rep to teleport to them directly uh, we do have enough rep to teleport to Tolati directly the Tolati company which I believe is here in Hiwa's twin alright let's just go to Hiwa's twin then because remember these ships are not for us they're for the AI to buy from us so entering system Hiwa's twin 
Okay, let's go to the representative's office. Okay. I'd like to buy a blueprint. Small ships. Let's just buy all of the small ship blueprints. And let's buy... I think we'll do the same thing. We'll buy everything except for the frigate because it's just too damned expensive for us right now. Okay. I wonder, does the AI buy and use the Manticore? I don't know. Uh, let's just assume that they do. Good profit to you. And probably later on, you know, once I, I build the cash back up a little bit, uh, we probably will come back and get the frigates as well. Very good. Okay, let's go to... Um, I don't think Holy Vision has any different ships. Well, let's just double check. I know they have different equipment. But not, Entering system. Holy Vision. I don't think they have different ships, but I could be wrong about that. So let's go to the representative's office. Oh, you know what? I'm not... I didn't take into account Vanguard versus Sentinel. Uh, well, let's just talk to this guy. Show me your... Or I'd like to buy a blueprint, ships. Ah, okay. So I wonder if the AI gives a crap about Vanguard versus Sentinel. Tell you what. I'm going to hold off on getting the Sentinels. Oh, it looks like the Ares... We have to get from them. Okay, so let's get the Ares. Safe journey. And let me know, guys, if for the purpose of selling to the AI, if the Vanguard or Sentinel really matters. So I'm going to hold off on on that for, for the moment. Because I, I just bought all the Vanguard ones. Safe journey. Very good. Okay, now let's go to Argon Space, where it's 57.8 million at the moment. Um, okay, where's the Argon rep? They should be... A, yeah, they're right here. No, that's Antigone. We want to go up here. Teleport to... Entering system, Argon Prime. Representative's office. Okay, I'm going to buy a blueprint. Small ships. Let's get all of the Vanguard versions. And... Just like before, we'll get all of the medium class ships except for the frigate. Good luck out there. All right. So that brings us then to down to 36.1 million. And I think that's about all the money that I want to spend right now until we can start building it back up. Um, If we go back to our shipyard now, look at that. That is freaking awesome, man. The AI is already buying um, Falcons and Buzzards from us. Very cool. I'm excited to see how much money we're going to make off of those. Now, I think, I could be wrong about this, but I think if we queue up our own ships, I think they get pushed to the front of the queue, maybe? I'm not really sure. So let's, uh, let's see what happens, because we need to buy, or not buy, we need to build a bunch more bombers. So if we go to build ships, let's go uh, small, and we want the she heavy fighter, and this time we want the standard bomber loadout. Uh, this loadout has the Mark IV engine, the Mark III thrusters, the Talati, or sorry, the Terran shields, um, but it has blast mortars for weapons. Um, I decided to go with blast mortars, at least for now, instead of uh, missiles. Though I do have everything I need 
to make missiles, or I should say more specifically torpedoes, including the blueprints. But I'm going to start with blast mortars first, and we'll see how it goes. Now, I understand that with blast mortars, because the ships have to get closer to the enemy, we're, we're going to have to try and manage that a little bit better in terms of trying to pull them away before the ship blows up. But then on the other hand, you know, these are heavy fighters that are very tough, very well shielded. So unless they're already you know, on the brink of being destroyed, they should be able to survive most explosions. Uh, so that's the theory anyways. We'll see how it works. Okay, so yeah, they got all the software. They got um, the same consumables, same crew type of information are there. Uh, all right, so let's add... Uh, I mean, we need to add, like, shit, 55 or so of these, but let's just start with 20 and see how it goes. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so it looks like it does not put our ships in front of the, the AI's queue. I thought I read somewhere that it did, but I must have either been given misinformation or I misunderstood what I read. That's interesting. Okay, that is not a problem, though, because this is cha-ching, buddy, all of this. Um, I wonder if they're, in, they this inst they're just instantly sold as soon as they're built. And we get the money. So I'm curious. We'll, we'll kind of see how that goes. We'll watch our, our money there. All right. Let's take the she's that have already been produced. And we're going to add these to where is our, our Raptor? We're going to add these to Alpha Group. So intercept for commander in alpha group. Okay. And then those are now added to the interceptors for the carrier. I really should probably go through and name these in such a way. So I know at a glance that it is an interceptor, but that is definitely something I'll do off camera. I'm not going to do that right now, of course. Okay, cool. Uh, well, you know what? I know we don't because because these have a prefix of BM, which means blast mortar she. So I'll, I'll be able to just tell. If it just says she straight up, I know it's a fighter. If it says BM she, then I know that it is a bomber she. Very cool. Okay, so let's go back to here. And I just want to see if we, if this, as soon as this is built, it's just instantly sold. Um, or if it has to like, you know, undock first and all that sort of thing. And also let's go to our shipyard and we can actually watch it in person. Look at them all being built, man. That is cool. <laughs> I love this. You guys, this is awesome. Bunch of ships across the way being built. Man, these ships, they, they look so tiny when you're in them and flying in space. But when you look at them on foot, it's like they're pretty darn big. Okay, well, let's do this and let's just wait until these are almost done. And we'll just see if they, they're just insta-sold or if they fly out first. Ten, nine seconds, seven. I'm not sure which these first three are. They're... They're Falcons, though, so they're probably over on the other side there. Oh, no, look at that. They're taking off. Okay, cool. So once they're built... Oh, that is neat, man. I love it. There they go. We'll take a look in the, in the ledger to see how much we made off of the ships. Okay, so this is... Yeah, we got one more minute left on the buzzards and the falcons that are on this side. I'm going to come up here and watch it from up here. Uh, you know what I should have done for those bomber she's? I, sh I should have named them as such before I started the queue, but that's all right. I'll just have to do it later. Okay, so we have five seconds left. Should be taking off here any moment. There it goes. 
There's even a pilot in the cockpit. That is so cool. Love that attention to detail that this game adds. All right, guys, go to it. Falcons and buzzards. The Tulati are going to war. <laughs> this is one of those really important and fun milestones in this game when you finally can manufacture your own ships and get the AI to to buy them from you and make some some bank. Okay, so what is our bank up to now? Uh, Thirty-six ninety-seven. Oh, you know why? That that isn't going to come in here. That's going to go into the shipyard's wallet. All right. So if we go here, uh, the transaction log. That's what we want to look at. There we go. Okay. So so we sold uh, all of those ships at those prices. I don't know if if when the AI buys a ship, do they add you know, like the better shields and, and the better presets, or do they just buy it randomly? Or I, w I wonder how that works. But yeah, we made about close to 1.4 million on those sales. Very cool. All right, so now the other thing that we can and will do is I want to build my fleet ships first, of course, but we can we can actually build our own ships and then sell them. So we don't have to wait for the AI to, to do this. So if we go, for example, to the medium ships and we build like a, a, a nemesis, let's select nemesis. Let's just make sure that it's... Oh, look at that. Yeah, I got to go buy blueprints for medium ships because I was just thinking in terms of small ships. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right, well, then we're going to have to obviously go get medium versions of of those components before we can do any medium ships. That makes sense. Okay. So if we go to small ships... Probably just looking at this without looking up the prices. Most like uh, pro the Ares is probably going to be one of the most expensive ships in this list. I would think. So what we can do here is we can do minimum preset. Um... So why isn't that low preset? Why doesn't it select the engines? That's weird. So how okay, you'd think that the preset would put the mandatory stuff on there, but it doesn't. So we have to go in and add these, I guess. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to call these Aries to sell. Cuz we can name them in advance. That's what I was saying I should have named my bombers in advance. We're going to add these to the shopping list. Let's make 10 of them and order them up. <coughs> okay, so when these Aries are finished, I'm just going to select all 10 of them. And then go over and sell them. I might shop around a little bit for the best price, but I'll, I'll figure out who's going to pay the best price for them and then go sell them. And cha-ching, buddy. So, very cool. Okay. I love it, guys. I absolutely love it. So, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. And I will keep working on building up my own fleet. I might go get uh, some medium... Uh, medium ship blueprints but I but before I do that I really need to to buy some more mining vessels so that each one of our stations have the mining vessels that they need to to sustain them essentially um and then when I have my my fleet completely built out for the carrier we'll start the next episode and we will do our first battle uh, with that fleet up here in Tharkas Cascade, and we're going to take this wharf back out.
Okay, so that is the plan. Also, like I said, I will do uh, my best to to be a, uh, be more frequent with the episodes because this series is not over. We we still have big plans for this series, and I have plans for uh, starting some new series in this game too, where we focus more on missions and that sort of thing, the storyline. Um, so yeah, so expect at least one episode a week, and maybe even a little more frequently than that as time goes on. Okay, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. Oh, and incidentally, the channel just recently hit 4,000 subscribers. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for all of you who have subscribed to the channel. It means a lot. Really appreciate it. And uh, just excited to uh, continue growing the channel as time goes on. You guys are the best. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.